Hello everybody, my name is Zen and welcome to my impressions for Disney Dreamlight Valley. This is not my first impressions, but that's because I've put about six hours into the game so far. I've been primarily playing on my Xbox. Uh, this game is available on uh, Game Pass and on PC Game Pass, so you can play either on your Xbox or your PC. Or you could just download it on Steam or whatever, wherever else you can get games nowadays. Uh, it is a strange amalgamation of, of different kinds of games, and we'll talk about that. But the cool thing that I am going to mention about the Game Pass thing is because I have Game Pass Ultimate, I, I've i been playing on my, my Xbox. And I'm by the way, I'm moving the menu up and down because there's an autoplay video that keeps happening every like one minute. <laughs> So I'm just making sure that doesn't pop in. It's very loud. I'm not I'm not gonna bother editing that um, So I'm just gonna keep us from getting there anyways It it has you know your saves on the Xbox if you play there But if you hop on the PC it'll download your save and you can continue right where you left off and I love that I love when games do that So we're actually gonna jump in with a new game and uh, Oh, it's gonna reset all my progress. All right. We're not gonna jump in with a new game <laughs> There's the, the reason why is because I don't want to have to go through the intro of the game, but I actually I'm I'm okay with not showing you guys that because it's not my first impressions again. Uh, these are my impressions after about six hours of gameplay. So I look freaking phenomenal and I did this on purpose the last time uh, that I was in because I was going to show footage from the Xbox. But thankfully, again, the game actually has the um, ability to, to cross save, which is really nice. So. Here's the thing. <laughs> this is this is a strange amalgamation of genres. Think like uh, like Stardew Valley meets Minecraft meets Dark Cloud meets uh, uh, many other crafting survival games meets Disney meets uh, JRPG. It's like it's got a lot going on in it and it's the only way to describe it <laughs> is quickly by showing you the map so on the map you can see this is our this is our little town this is dreamlight valley it's very beautiful i have unlocked two areas well technically three if you want to count the castle but we've got like this area here and then we've got this area down over here the beach which i have unlocked everything in this game is set up in the way that all of these disney characters have kind of like either disappeared or lost their memories and there are these like nightmare tentacles coming out of the ground and if you ever played world of warcraft this is like nihilothus stuff going on like this is old gods like taking over the world or something i don't know i haven't uncovered exactly what's going on there Ooh, a daily challenge <laughs> just gotta pick that up before i collect it or before i forget about it so yeah you've got like this like old god stuff coming up which is causing things to disappear and whatnot and that's not great so you essentially need to clean it up. Think of this like Stardew Valley where, or I guess any like Harvest Moon game where you've got your farm, right? Oop, picked up a tree or not a tree, a flower. Th think of this like Stardew Valley. You've got your farm and on your farm, you've got random weeds and whatnot that pop up and you just gotta go clean them up every day. When you first start, there's a lot of this stuff and it's not good. It sucks to clear out, but the good news is that once you do clear it out, it's just kind of like this stuff. You just log in and you, you got some things to pick up. Uh, some of this is used for crafting. Some of this is used for prettying up things. Uh, you could farm, as you see here. I've got a little farm plot that I, I had set out. It was much bigger than that, but I actually hadn't uh, put anything in the ground, so it kind of disappears. And this is my really garbage house that I need to upgrade. So you have your own house, and then you have Dreamlight Valley, which is everybody else's else's house now the real draw of this game so before you get super bored i'm going to show you um if i can remember the button for it i think it's that one so you can freely build in this world so let's say um i just want to put something down let's uh, let's put uh let's put a bed down you literally could just like toss it around and just put it into the world, which is great. I love that. You can rotate it, obviously. Um, you are able to zoom in and out and uh, rotate your camera, which was the rotate. Uh, that's zoom in now. Left trigger is left. It's not, it's not rotating my camera. It's moving my camera. 
this moving the hand. It's it's weird controls on the, the controller, but I, I've been playing on the Xbox for six hours, so I'm kind of used to the controls there. Uh, I'm able to hot swap to the, the PC controls on the PC, which means that this is just way more natural to move around in. So you can, like I said, you could go ahead and just like throw whatever you want down on the ground. You can even like put roads down. Like I've got like the hole in the road here. So we can, we could fix that. In fact, it might be easier to just do this on, why is it not going? I don't know why it doesn't want to. Oh, I, I had like other things going on there. Anyways, you can also customize your house and you can upgrade your house. Your house gets a little bit bigger. Right now, I've got a crappy shed. <laughs> it is the worst shed of all time. And everything's slightly off of the wall because you can upgrade your house, like I said. Um, you see, it costs these gold coins that you get. 2,000 seems like a lot, but it's actually not. And uh, it expanded it one outward in every direction, which actually is a fairly nice uh, change. And then, of course, I could come in and... I actually don't know how to just go straight into building. There we go. So I could come in and fix this if I really wanted to. Again, this might be quite a bit easier on PC controls. Oh my goodness, it definitely is. I feel like I'm playing The Sims. That's another like amalgamation here. Is you got like <laughs> you got all of these games that come together to make this kind of unique experience, even though it's not unique at all because you've done this before in so many other games. Hard to explain. It's a really weird feeling, but it's one that feels comfortable and at home. Um, on top of all of the customization you could do to the world, you also have your wardrobe that you could customize in. There is a lot here. Uh, first off, let's change my pants because, well, actually, do, 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 is it that I have a dress on? I could put a dress on. Look at that. Look how beautiful I am. <laughs> um, we can also just put pants on. I believe I had slacks on before. But because I've got this skirt on, it's kind of, there we go. That's looking a little bit better. <laughs> so I've also got this like Gucci backpack, which I find hilarious. There's a lot here to customize. There's a lot here to customize. Like I really need to stress that. And I love that you could do that. You can also change the way that you look, of course. Um, it's not just like at your character creation, you, you do that. You, you can do it as you go. And I love that uh, they, yeah, they, they have a bunch of customization here. I'm not going to get into that. That's that's not worthy of, of diving down into that system while we're doing just an impressions. But um, it's like silly hats, um, which I love. There's also, I, I like that the turban and the headscarf are actually, if I recall correctly, were there from default. So that's, that's a nice little, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Not accessibility. Uh, uh. Inclusion thing. It's an inclusionary thing. And I like that. And yeah, you've got all these really funny things that you could put on your character. I like that. I could literally could just put on whatever I want. I've got this backpack. Uh, if I really wanted the dress on, I could put a dress on. And it's funny because it makes it makes my kids laugh. And I'm like, oh, check out my dress, my, my pretty dress. <laughs> They're like, that's really funny. So the thing like that's that's all the customization. There's a bunch of stuff you could do. You've got all these tools. So I've got a pickaxe. I could break rocks with my pickaxe and like in Stardew Valley, you have energy. So we'll sit here and pick it. And then afterwards, you will see that. Where's my energy? Uh, if I go to my inventory, uh, up on the top above my character, you have my level. And then below that, you have the blue bar, which is the energy. And as you do things, your energy will dissipate. And you can get your energy up by eating stuff which is nice. I just gained myself some extra energy. That's that yellow bar because I ate something I created. I crafted these food items, which they're not great. <laughs> like th those weren't high quality food items, but you know what? I did it. Let's pick up this corn because I have a space now. But you have all these characters in Dreamlight Valley. You're, you first introduced yourself to Merlin. Uh, he says, yes, yes, there you are. Good. I have missions with all these characters. I have a relationship with all these characters. So my relationship with him is at a level five. And as you level that up, you unlock more stuff. You can also level it up very easily by just giving him crap. So like I can, I can gift him, uh, th there's extra stuff at the bottom that I could gift him like a dream shard, which I have one on me. So we can go ahead and do that. And you see it boosts his, his bar quite a lot. Um, and then I can go ahead and actually, uh, give him, 
Oh, I don't have hors d'oeuvres, so I can't give him that. Or I don't have that blue plant either. I think I could probably go find one. Not that it really matters. I think if I just give him a cracker, he'll be, yeah, <laughs> he'll level up. Here, Merlin, take a cracker. <laughs> Thank you, okay. So as you see, he levels up. It gives me skills. We'll talk about the skills in a second. I've now unlocked a bag. Do I know what that bag is? I'm assuming, I'm assuming it is a wardrobe thing. But we can we can check and see if that is the case or not. Uh, if I just go to all, I might be able to find it just by scrolling through. Some of these things are like, yeah, because that wasn't a wardrobe thing. Some of these things are like you put it down as like a furniture item. Some of it's wardrobe. Some of it's uh, skills. Like you saw, I have him as foraging. Uh, he has got the foraging skill. I've selected that for him oh, because you can hang out with any of these characters. So we can hang out with Merlin. And when we forage, so like if we come over to these apples and we harvest, there's a chance that we will get extra apples while foraging with him. Um, there is a, all, all of the skills I think are foraging, uh, mining. Let's see if I can find a better way to look at this <laughs> rather than remembering. So foraging, gardening, fishing, cooking, I think are the all of the ones. Let's get that. Get these dreamlight duties. Boom. Oh, we could take a selfie. You know what? <laughs> this is one of those games where you're like, ooh, a challenge to do something stupid. Let's do it. Uh, what is it? That button. Hey, just hanging out with my guy, you know? Oh, I could do like different. I didn't realize I could do different, um, you know, emotes here. Here. We'll do this one. And we'll go. Yeah, look, my guy. And, uh... Oh my goodness, some of these are terrible. <laughs> I like that one. Cool, we'll go with that one. Oh, we could do Instagram filters. What? <laughs> Over, like, con uh, contrast. Uh, let's, no, no. Okay, we're just gonna go ahead and get out of that. I, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm trying to reset the picture because that was bad. We're just gonna take a picture. And... Oh no, he's still gonna, he goes right back to what we had before. Or maybe not. I think he was just doing his thing. Um... Let's take that picture. The worst possible face that I could capture in that moment. Yes, I would like to save that to my device. There's now a screenshot on my computer that I'm never going to get rid of. And in like 10 years, I'll go through my hard drives and I'll be like, what the heck is this? I'll be like, oh my goodness, I remember when I did that video. <laughs> so you'd be surprised how often that happens. Uh, yeah, so you've got like all these characters. Merlin, uh, I've got Scrooge McDuck. Scrooge is in this building over here. You start with Merlin and Scrooge and Mickey and uh, Goofy. They're all there. I have a mission that I had just finished with him. So I'm not going to read all the dialogue here. I don't want to like... Some of you might be interested in this kind of stuff and I don't want to spoil it. He was doing missions for me, Or I was doing missions for him to learn about the economy of Dreamlight Valley. And it looks like... Yeah, he's got extra stuff. You have a whole dialogue tree that you could go with. Um, I'm just going to skip through this. It's not important to me at the moment. Secret room. Ah. I don't know what that meant, but yeah, I want Scrooge McDuck to have a secret room. Oh, I just got 2,000 gold for something. I think I have to buy something. So we can track that mission. Mission: Bring Merlin blue furniture for his study. Oh, look at, look at that's nice. Something blue. Well, I don't think, um, I don't think he's got anything blue. Maybe I have something blue in my inventory and it's letting me turn it in. I mean, none of this is really blue, is it? <laughs> so, you've, like I said, you've got Scrooge, which has his shop. And he he's kind of the one that allows you to upgrade buildings, so I can upgrade that. Um, there is a uh, stall down here that Goofy sells stuff from, so you could sell and buy from this. So if you have extra stuff, you can sell to it. Um, you can upgrade it to get more stuff. You fish. I actually think the fishing is a super cool thing, which brings us on to talking about Goofy because you get the fishing pole from Goofy at the start of the game. And he, well, he's Goofy, but he teaches you how to fish. Check this out. It's really cool. So you like line it up. That wasn't, that was good. I'm going to try to get in the pool. You line it up. This is like cooler than most fishing in any game. <laughs> and it's got this little mini game where you hit the button, you wait. And then when, it, when the, the timing thing lines up, you go ahead and hit the button again. You catch a fish and it's beautiful. It's like, it's so simple because it's, it's essentially a game of mini games. 
You have all these mini games. I could dig anywhere, by the way. And then I could just like plant a seed if I wanted to. Oh, I got new crafting recipes. Oh, isn't that beautiful? I'm just gonna plant a carrot there. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Because I want to. And you know what? I'm also gonna water it so it actually grows. And man, when you're hanging out with people, you got them hanging out with you. They love this kind of stuff. They love you doing random stuff in Dreamlight Valley. And like going around, oh, there's Goofy right over there. Going around and like clearing this stuff out because it, oh, it's a time thing. I know I want the coins. All this crap is in my way. Oh, give me the coins. There was another one over here, wasn't there? Oh, no, get to it. Out of my way, squirrel. Let me get the extra chest. More coins. <laughs> it seems silly, but like all of this stuff. Ooh, that's, um, let's just drop that flower. I don't want that flower right now. I really want the bag because the, the you get these bags and this bag contains a furniture item. Blue bags contain items for you. Oh, sorry, actually a cool TV. Uh, blue bags contain items for you to wear. So uh, apparel and whatnot. But like I said, you have all this little stuff. You've got these, these nightmare things from Nihilotha. <laughs> You've got rocks and whatnot that respawn you've got sticks and whatnot to pick up and you're doing all this every time you log into the game this is not a sit down and like beat the game kind of game it's, it's more complicated than that it's it's a life sim it's it's a farm sim it's a uh you know a make your dreamlight valley pretty simulator and there's a lot of really cool stuff that you're able to do with this and because of the way the systems work, you always have something to do when you log into the game, which it looks fairly innocuous. I'm just cleaning up my valley at the moment. That's not super exciting. But because the missions guide you through what to do, um, for example, early on, this is not much of a spoiler, you get the ability to unlock the castle. And oh, actually, I'm going to go in there in a second because I'm going to show you what I mean. You go into the castle. There's a bunch of doors. You can unlock a door. I happened to choose one that I was pretty sure it was going to have Remy in it. And sure enough, yeah, we unlocked Remy. Let's go to our map, see exactly where he's at. It's not always in the same. Mickey and Remy are in the same place. Remy's feeding Mickey. Uh, actually, you know what? He actually is. <laughs> and where Remy, where did you go, buddy? You were in here. It's like, there he is. So, Hello. like, I unlocked Remy. He had a whole mission set that I could do in his kitchen. Uh, back in, I think it's Paris is the movie where the movie takes place. And after I completed all that and I learned how to cook and I did all this other stuff, I unlocked him and now he's, I can hang out with him. You can only hang out with people once they're level two, which you could just gift them stuff to get to. So yeah, now I've got Remy here. And, and when I got Remy, it, this building, the Shay Remy was already here, but that, that's because I think that's a, um, uh, it, it's a place where you do food and whatnot. So they, they already had that there, but I had to move him in and I had to throw his own little house down over here. So I decided to put it down here. I didn't have to put it down here. I could come in and customize his house, right? It's kind of cool. These are just like little innocuous things that you are not necessarily doing because it's part of the main gameplay loop. It's just things that you can do, which gives you a lot of customization for your particular valley, your particular character, your particular characters that you're hanging out with and getting them leveled up, like making it so he gives me extra stuff when I cook and because that makes sense. I think most people would do that with Remy. It just makes sense for the movies. If you've never seen Ratatouille, great movie. But the thing is, that's that's not the main part of the game. The main part of the game is this dreamlight shards and whatnot. You're getting this from completing these little uh, challenges, like planting five vegetables. I can go get that. This is a this is a daily duty change. So all of this stuff um, refreshes. So when I log in, it's going to be different next time. And like I can go harvest three spices. So like there's basil and oregano that I can go get. Um, is it oregano? It might have been thyme. I don't remember. I could sell two fish. I think I have a fish. I could go sell one. And then you get all these points, right? It's also stuff. These are long term goals. So these are not changing every day. These are stuff that you're slowly acquiring like harvest six different fruits. When I do that, when I harvest two more fruits um, and I get the six done, it'll swap out for a new one. It'll be like harvest eight 
fruits or you know sell 15 fruits or 20 fruits is this left one over here but once i do that it'll be like sell like 30. so there's like different steps and you can see the steps as these little like tick marks on it and there are a bunch of these and you unlock these points and these points are what you use to unlock things in the world so uh where's my map so for example you see like all of this dark area over here like these are different lands that i can go unlock by using this stuff there's like this forest of valor the frosted heights like there's huge areas to go unlock and i could just come off over here where you know all of the nihilosa tentacles are <laughs> I just, this is what I'm going to keep calling them. This requires 7,000 of this, which is actually pretty expensive. But there are areas down below where I could go unlock it with what I've got right this moment. But that leads me into wanting to go to the castle, which you unlock fairly early on. That's like one of the main objectives with Merlin to begin with. And it has all these doors in it. This is the Remy one I opened up. You can see it's Remy. Um, these doors each have their own little like icons on them and I could unlock it for 3,000. That one's 3,000. The ones up here, I believe are more expensive. I think they're four or 5,000. Um, that one I can't get to this one. I can, it's got a little snowflake. Is that going to be, I assume that's gonna be like Elsa or Anna. So you kind of got to choose. I assuming that might be the little mermaid. It looks kind of like a whirl, like a like a maelstrom, uh, but I might be wrong. We've got this other one with this leaf. I don't know which ones they are. Um, and then on top of you collecting these Dreamlight shards and allowing yourself to unlock stuff as you go, and I like that you get to choose what you're unlocking. And uh, you know, you playing the game, you're gonna have a different unlock path than I do. But eventually, we will. If we keep playing, we will unlock everything. But your path is determined on what you want to unlock. Like when I got here and uh, Merlin told me what was kind of behind each door and I figured out that this one was in like Paris. I think you said it was in Paris. So I, oh, I can I can go unlock Remy and I love Remy. So let's go get him. So like I got to choose that and that felt really cool. I had some some choices there, but then they've got this whole thing set up with this event and they they uh, the previous one was focused on Pixar stuff. This one is focused kind of on Halloween and villains. Um, so you have the star pass, which you can imagine is just like any, um, what are they called? Like, uh, like battle passes. So you do duties. So like if I remove night thorns, if I remove 30 of them, I'll get 10 of these points. If I cook 20 meals, I'll get 20 points. If I start daily discussions with Merlin, I'll get another 10. Um, you can unlock the premium path with using these shards, which I do believe require uh, microtransactions to get, but because I'm playing on Game Pass, I naturally get some anyways. And then by getting this, uh, you know, these like pumpkin stuff, you can unlock all these other customizations. So you could get the mirror on the wall, which is cool. You could get this wind up raccoon or uh, black cat ears. Like there's some crazy stuff going on. Um, oh, that's really cool. Wait, wait, wait. I got to go back to that one. Oh, I really like that. The Cheshire cat. You've got um well of souls i i love that we have hades here like there's some really cool stuff that you can unlock and the strength of this game is the fact that you are playing in a disney world and if you like disney properties even if you just like some of them like this gargoyle from gargoyles <laughs> is it's just awesome i love this like the the um maleficent horns i i don't know I, I think that this speaks to me and if they happen to add Star Wars stuff in the future because well Disney owns Star Wars um, I would I would totally be down for that and I could see them doing that because these events are monthly things this one ends in 32 days just went up the other day and it added a, a bunch of other stuff and the fact that you have all these quests to do it feels like there's just a lot to do in the game and I've played six hours I feel like I've barely dented the surface but i don't and this is one of those things is i don't want to ruin the quest for people because you may have a favorite character your favorite character may be goofy or mickey or merlin and by going into those missions that you get on you know early on in the game i don't want to ruin that experience of you getting to hang out with your character and kind of speaking with them and and whatnot negatives about this game so far though 
there are no I gotta get rid of these little things this is this is annoying me <laughs> they've got like these little pips that are telling me that I got new stuff it's like yeah no kidding I know I got new stuff go away don't don't tell me I got new stuff can I, can I get that as red okay it's gone now um the, the negatives is that there are there's no voice acting in standard stuff I could talk to Remy now and he, he wouldn't voice act he's got like Remyisms. Which sounds like Remy well, hello. or like you get the the barks like he says well hello but then he's actually talking about me and or talking to me but I'm not getting any voice acting here and I really don't like that I, I I wish that the game did have voice acting it would improve it because then you're definitely talking to these characters that you know and love um, on top of that, and this is just a different thing that uh, relates to it, uh, this game is developed by Gameloft. If you don't know who Gameloft is, they are notorious for fairly, and I'm, I'm saying this with love, fairly mediocre, um, uh, like, mobile games. Like, they did the, I think it was the Asphalt series, there was like a Diablo clone that they did for a while, and those games are good well, as a mobile game, but they've you know expanding into a non-mobile genre like dreamlight valley and whatnot good for them they've been able to expand and do that however at the same time i'm like mm, could this have been given to a different studio that would have done maybe not not a better job with it but a more ambitious job with it it's a fairly ambitious game actually it's an extremely ambitious game for gameloft but like i like i said i would have liked to see other properties um, like right in the game to begin with, like maybe a taste of Star Wars, a taste of the Marvel stuff the, it, you give us maybe some voice acting or uh, I like the style of the graphics, so I, I can't really slight that, but maybe, I don't know, just a, a more modern feel to the game. It feels very uh, pr pr previous gen, I would say. So this is this little door says I'll find a sunlit ocean, scattered with tropical islands, a charismatic demigod, and a young woman who's become a very skilled voyager. <gasps> oh, is this like Moana? <laughs> yes, it is. Oh, that's cool. And that's the that's the juice of the game. It's like that's cool. That's Moana. I could go go there and do this cool little mission. I will give you a sneak of it, but we will wrap it up after. <laughs> so I could go over here and and essentially by doing the mission here I am going to unlock Moana in Dreamlight Valley so she will then be there I'll put her house or hut or whatever down and because I'm I've got the the beach unlocked now I totally put her down on the beach and I get to choose to do that because of the work that I've done in the valley so far I love that like this this game is fun and is way better than it has every right to be and it's totally what I need right now because I'm working on average anywhere between 10 and 15 hours a day because I run my own business and that just takes everything out of me. And you know what? My kids also take a lot out of me. If you're a parent, you totally know this. I don't have to explain it. If you're not a parent, man, kids are a lot of work. Even when you're working so much during the day, like I work from home, they go to school, they come home, they're, they're only here a few hours in the evening, but goodness they could just like really get under your skin sometimes and this game has been my sanctuary where at the end of the day I sit down and I just play 30 minutes of Dreamlight Valley and you know what it's just relaxes the heck out of me and I love it and if everything you've seen so far is like hey I'm really interested in this kind of thing then you would love the game whether it's the properties or the like stardew valley meets the sims meets the jrpg meets like all of this weird amalgamation of genres if you're into that kind of stuff you would like it as well but if if none of this seems interesting to you just avoid it because you're not going to have fun with it i mean you could try it it's on game pass so if you have game pass it's free um but outside of that it's you know it's it's a disney game with disney properties and an interesting concept you should try it i think with all of that said, thank you guys for watching. If you're interested in supporting the channel, you can either become a channel member by going down below and hitting the join button, 
or you can head to patreon.com slash OSW Guild where you can support us there. I do a monthly vlog where I do a bunch of uh, behind the scenes talking. If you're interested in more videos like this, I upload videos every single day and have been doing so for 11 years. Never missed a day. So there's a bunch of stuff for you to watch. Lots of different series, more impressions, first impressions, stuff like that. Let me know in the comments what you think of Dreamlight Valley. I think it's a lot of fun, but maybe it's just because at this point in my life, it's the kind of game that I need to be playing right now to relax me. <laughs> maybe you don't need it. Maybe you need to go play Overwatch 2 or something and just stress out to random nerds online. But with all that being said, thank you for watching, and we shall see you all next time.